Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's Tech on Style back again with another video and in this video we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Leopold FC 660M PD. Uh, it's a two-tone white double shot mechanical keyboard and it has uh, brown cherry MX keys. Basically the keyboard is a 66 keys mechanical mini keyboard. And I decided to get this because uh, I am a fan of mechanical keyboards. And I actually wanted to pair it up with my MacBook Pro 2017. And I've already done a video of this, so you can go and check that out as well. And uh, let's get started with the unboxing. But before I get started with the unboxing, I want to show you the box. So we have uh, Leopold branding. And then uh, we have some information here. It's 1.5 mm PBT, double shot keycaps, sound absorbing pad. And then we have the Cherry MX mechanical switches. Now I decided to go with the brown switches. Um, and uh, that is basically because uh, they are less clicky. And they do have a sort of a tactile feedback as well. And uh, less bumpy as well. So this is the FC660 MPD. Uh, white uh, English layout and brown non-click. So they are not as clicky as the blue ones. So they are really good for typing. So if you are in the market looking for keyboard basically for typing, the brown keys, the brown cherry MX keys are, you know, any typist delight. And uh, blue switches are more clicky uh, if you like some sound. Now I've already done a video on the uh, ducky uh, keyboard that is the uh, year of the rooster edition. And the keys are quite clicky. And I'll be doing a comparison video as well with the ducky keyboard. And this is less clicky, non-clicky. And then you have a choice of linear keyboards like the red ones, red switches, which are used for gamers. And the black, which, is, which are really hard ones. And they are linear as well. And then the silent red and the clear and the silver keycaps. Now the silver keycaps are more aimed at uh, uh, for gamers as well as for typists as well. But mainly for gamers. Now let's have a look at the back. On the side we have the same branding, Leopold 66 keys mechanical keyboard. And at the rear we have the layout of the keyboard, a, a picture, a photo showing the layout. Now the uh, width of the keyboard is 325 mm and the height is 109.7 mm, 109.7 mm. So let's look, have a look at the features. Cherry MX switch, top face printing, uh, FR4 dual layer PCB board. And then we have 1.5 mm PBT double shot keycaps and it has a sound absorbing pad which is really good because uh, it's less noisy especially if you're working in an environment and you don't want to um, basically disturb your class or your colleagues it's really good to have uh, uh, the sound absorbing pad and then the usb and ps2 support now that's the specifications uh cherry mx switch i choose the brown one key pitch at 19 mm and then the dimensions, as I mentioned earlier, it's compatible with Mac as well and Windows 8, Vista XP. Now I have to recheck that whether it's compatible with Mac because I haven't connected to the Mac as yet. The number of keys, 66% keys, uh, layout keystroke, and then the weight is 700 grams and it supports USB and PS2 interface. It's basically made in Taiwan. Now let's have a look at the keyboard. Now nicely packaged, we have some plastic bits. Now let's keep that aside. And then we have the keyboard itself. Wow. Uh, we'll get to a keyboard in a bit. First, let's see what's in the box. Now in the box, we get the cables. Uh, that is the USB cables. And what's the, let's see underneath the box, we have, uh, we have the key remover and the control and caps lock key as well, the extra keys. And we have the uh, warranty and user manual. So that's a 66 keys mechanical mini keyboard. And uh, that's all in, uh, I think it's Korean. But let's keep that aside because we are not gonna have a read at it. And let's keep the keys, uh, let's keep the cable aside as well. Let's put the box aside. Let's have a look at the product, the keyboard, that's what we're talking about. Now the keyboard is, it's got a really good layout, it's a, it's a small layout. Now uh, the keys, they're less noisy, less clicky. So 
So I'll show you the keyboard. It's quite slim. It's lightweight. It's not 700 grams. I don't feel that it's really heavy. It's got the perfect weight that it would not slip. Even if I put it on the, the desk without the uh, mat, uh, it's non-slippery. And we have the USB uh, port where we can connect it to a computer. And then the sides are kind of uh, aligned uh, in a very good angle uh, for support as well when you're typing. And a very minimalistic layout. It, it, it has 66 keys and you can have a look. So they have insert and delete key on the right hand side and then we have the arrow keys. Very very soft press which is really good and it does have a, a, a kind of a feedback uh, which is really nice. And then the function control and alt and the shift key. And then the uh, very nice feedback by the uh, Basically, it would be really good to type on the brown keys. That's the reason I got the brown keys, Cherry MX Brown. And then we have uh, the Control Alt and uh, the Numeric. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this keyboard, it does not have the function keys. Uh, I decided to go with the 66% layout, 60% 60 layout. It's mainly because I wanted to pair it up with my uh, MacBook Pro 2017 laptop. Now I have to wait and see whether it works with the uh, Mac OS, which it does, I, I think, it, I assume it does. So there shouldn't be any issues with it. Otherwise, uh, I'd be using it with Windows. So uh, nice feedback, Cherry MX Brown. I'll be doing an in-depth review as well. So we got Leo, Leopold branding at the bottom. So let's have a look at the rear of the keyboard. We looked at the top, we have the USB, uh, that's where the cable would uh, plug in and a very nice layout. Let's look at the rear of the keyboard. Uh, so that's the rear of the keyboard. I've just put a tag so I don't want to show my serial number. And we, the, the legs are really good. So you can keep the keyboard at an angle and they are rubber feet, which is really good. Uh, so they're anti-slip rubber feet as well. And I feel the height is good enough. Then we have some rubber feeding up here as well, which is really nice. Uh, so uh, that's pretty good. And we have uh, this as well on the left side. So that's pretty good. That's the rear of the keyboard. Now let's have a look at the angle of the keyboard. Now I feel that um, So that was a quick unboxing of the keyboard. Uh, now that's the cable. So let's have a look at the cable length as well. So you guys can have a better look. Now you can order this from uh, mechanicalkeyboards.com. It, uh, it costs around $109. And if you can pick it up on sale for around $100, that would be great. Now uh, I ordered this one from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Let's take this out and let's plug this in as well. So the keyboard uh, basically the cord length is uh, is decent enough it's not too bad it's kind of this uh, the length is kind of uh, similar to the ducky one now uh, I'll keep uh, the ducky keyboard aside as well the only the only negative this keyboard has that keyboard doesn't have uh, uh, LED lightning so that's kind of bad I wish the keyboard had LED lightning because that would have been really good now the ducky one obviously has uh, LED backlighting so it looks really nice and you know you can change the colors as well uh, and it looks really neat 
But just to show you a comparison, uh, the only thing that uh, is uh, not there in the keyboard, and it's one of the cons because it's not present in the keyboard. Now, I have an old Apple keyboard as well. Now this is the wireless one. So you can match the layout as well. It's kind of the same layout. It's a tad big, uh, it's a tad bigger, and it's obviously heavier. The Apple one is very slim. Now if you compare this with the Apple keyboard, obviously the Apple one is slim and this is kind of heavy. But I prefer mechanical keyboard. Now the keys on the Apple keyboard, they're really, uh, I don't really like these keys, so I don't really use it much. Uh, it's good to use it on the go though because it's kind of wireless, but I'm not a big fan of this. So I keep that aside and uh, comparing it with the Ducky keyboard, obviously the Ducky ones, I've I have the Cherry MX Blue and So just a quick comparison, less clicky and sound absorbing pad in here, which is really good. Both have dual layer PCBs. Uh, the only con is that this doesn't have any LED backlighting except the caps lock. So once I plug in, I'll be doing another video. And obviously Ducky has, uh, you know, the lights on Ducky are really, really neat. They look really nice. And, uh, you know, that's about it. That's the... Uh, That's the unboxing of the uh, uh, keyboard of the Leopold uh, FC660M PBT two-tone white double shot mechanical keyboard. And I had to choose this colorway instead of the blue and the black one because it had sold out on mechanicalkeyboards.com. So you can visit mechanicalkeyboards.com and uh, buy this particular keyboard. And uh, I feel that this is really nice to pair it with the MacBook. I'll show you the MacBook Pro and compare the size as well so you guys can have a better idea. So that's the MacBook Pro and that's the keyboard. So it's very similar to the size of the MacBook Pro and that's the main reason I got this. And I'm gonna pair this with the mouse as well. Uh, probably with a uh, Steel Series mouse uh, for my MacBook Pro so I can use it uh, you know, while traveling and while on the go. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, so that was a quick unboxing of the uh, Leopold FC660M. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, do hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, peace out.